Oh, I have what? I got bolts. <laughs> I got Let me bolts. Up. Shine up one of these. I got bolts in different areas. Welcome back to In the Works, the show where we document our progress that we're making on our personal projects. This episode is brought to you by World of Warships, and we have some really cool things going on today. We got some shop upgrades. We need to make a stand for our new broadback grinder. Uh, Ilya needs to make some hammers. Chris has a really cool uh, bottle opener, commemorative bottle opener that he's working on that we'll get to later. But first, let's talk about our sponsor, World of Warships. Guys, if you like battleships, if you like games in general, this is the game for you. World of Warships is a PC-based game. It's completely free to play. During the registration, use the code BATTLESTATIONS2020 to get for free 250 doubloons, three days premium account, and the ship USS Charlton, plus one port slot. There's a different class of warship for just about any kind of player. You can choose from destroyers, cruisers, battleships, and even carriers, each of them with their own mechanics and different style of gameplay. Not only can you go head to head and battle other players, but there's also a steady cadence of missions and events to add to the excitement. World of Warships has over 30 million players worldwide. Join me on the battlefield, click the link below, and download World of Warships today. Now, let's get into making some stuff. Ilya is going to get things started by hot fitting his guard for his Maiden Blade Show project. So we have a beautiful new grinder from Broadbeck Ironworks, but we don't have anywhere to put it. So Chris and Ilya decided to fabricate up a stand. Chris continues to drill the holes in our grinder base, Ilya moves on to begin forging some bladesmithing hammers.
with the hole now cleanly punched in his hammer blank, work continues on the grinder base, as Chris uses a hand sander to deburr the entire piece. Forging as many hammers as Ilya does, especially punching and drifting each and every eye, it's important to dress your tools from time to time to make sure they maintain the right geometry and don't get stuck, or even worse, break. belt on there, Skimpy. How many grinders is too many grinders? Tell me a story. Tell me a fable. So I've been working on these little Bethlehem steel bottle openers and the idea behind them was I have these little Bethlehem steel machinery inspection tags and they have a CO number on the back and the idea was that after the machine was cleaned and inspected one of these tags would get put on it with an employee number on the back that would show that the machinery has been inspected cleaned and gone through. So I had some old new old stock Bethlehem steel bolts and the machinery tags and I figured it'd be a cool little project a little commemorative project to have bottle openers made out of them so let me show you guys how I make these
So Bethlehem Steel was the nation's leading steel supplier from about 1904 to 2001 until they went bankrupt. So I only had about 20 of these new old stock Bethlehem steel bolts and coincidentally I only had 20 of these tags. So these things will be available for sale. DM me for the price on these bottle openers at Mount Phillip Metalworks on Instagram. Are we done? Thanks for watching this episode of In The Works. We all made great progress on our projects. We have our brand new Broadbeck Ironworks grinder set on a beautiful pedal stool. I can't wait to put that to use. Make sure you use that promo code BATTLESTATIONS2020, click the link today, and download World of Warships. Catch you guys next time. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. We appreciate the like. And as always, tell us in the comments below what you want to see this team build next. Don't forget to subscribe.